Hey, what's up everybody? Kevin back here. In this uh, quick video, we're going to talk about um, forwarding your, your your domain to your hosting account. And like I said in the, in the post, I know that may sound complicated, but it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, I've got two tabs pulled up here. One is our HostGator cPanel. And this other tab, I know you can't see me switching it up here, but uh, this other tab is the uh, GoDaddy. And I've already logged in to both. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the name servers from our hosting account. And we can get it. Now, they'll actually send you an email with this information. And you can also get it in your cPanel at the very bottom. If you scroll down to the bottom here, and I'm going to move this down just a little bit here. Hold on. Here we go. Um, right here. These are your name servers that ns1803.hostgator.com and ns1804. So, what we're going to do is copy this like that. We're going to go into our GoDaddy account. Now, again, you should have gotten the emails um, with the, the login information and all this other stuff. So, I'm going to go to my account here. And it'll bring up, you know, uh, this right here. I always use the domain manager, though, right here. View in domain manager. I just like the view better, I guess. All right, I'm going to move this over here, too, so you guys can see that. All right, and here we have several domains or whatever. Um, I'm going to go in just to this one, just to, just to show you guys. Now, in here... Once you go into a domain in your domain manager, right here at name servers. Now you see I already have mine changed here. Um, but what, what you would do, uh, normally this is going to say something, uh, it won't say HostGator, it'll say something else. I don't remember what it is, but all you do is go to set name servers. All right, and then check this last option. I have specific name servers for my domains. And what you do is you would pop in your name servers there. See how it's 1803 and 1804. Hit OK. And it usually usually takes, I don't know, an hour or so. Sometimes it can take longer, though. They say up to 48 hours. I've never seen one take that long. But, but what that will do is allow you to... Uh, in, we're back in the cPanel here. It'll allow you to add on that domain right here. You see where it says add on domains? So once you go in there, you can actually uh, get your domain in here. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go over that in the next video uh, as far as that goes. But we have to, we have to point the domain to the hosting, and that's what we just did with that video. So... All right, if you guys have any questions, hit the comments. See ya.